Just let you know, anything like this, please wash by hand and do not put in a dryer because it'll all become dreadlocks. Welcome to Little John's Yarn. This is part two of crochet in TV and in the movies. This entire list was put together with the help of you. I had asked in the comments for you guys to put down any crochet scenes that you've seen and you all came through. But if this is your very first time here, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and let's hop right into this. This very first one is from Two Broke Girls. It's about two girls who live in a city that's trying to earn some money to open a bakery. So this was brought to us by Angie Darling Moore. Two Broke Girls season three, episode 14. Max Gray Cap is so cute. I used to make these hats all the time a few years ago. So let's hop into it. Be fond of <laughs> so you want to come back to my place and brown? Okay, can you see how the hats, it looks like it's made in like half double crochets in the round. It's super simple. Here's the side view. I know it's kind of blurry, but it kind of looks like puff stitches. There's going to be some more scenes with this in it, but I'm seeing a lot of pops, puff stitches around the edge. I think this might be a tutorial. I always have so much difficulty making a brim. Okay, here's a better side view of the hat. Next, we got two scenes from Breaking Bad. This was found by Doc Payne. He says he loves this idea. Ones I've just noticed are in Breaking Bad, season one, episode five. There's some crochet blankets of the classic grandma Afghan vibe. Let's check it out. There it is in the background. Can you see it? If you know this stitch, I think I put a freeze phrase. There it is. If you know this stitch, comment down below. Cause I've seen this, but I don't know exactly what this stitch is called. I always have so much fun when I spot crochet in the video. All right, here's the next scene. It's another crochet blanket, but right there. It's more of a granny stitch, but it looks like it's made in a round and not like a square. So probably they started out with a granny square, then stopped increasing on the sides. All right, so far we still have a lot more to go. Next, we found this is from a TV show in the 90s. It's called Moesha and there are three scenes of crochet in it. This was brought to us by Yvette Reynolds. She gave me timestamps and everything. So thank you so much. So let's hop into this very next one. Here it is with Char Jackson. Right there. Char Jackson is Britney Spears, baby daddy's baby, other baby mama. Okay. That's hard to say, but regardless, I think her scrunchies crochet too. I like that poncho. And the top is like strips. Okay, here's the next scene. They're in a classroom, Char Jackson again. I think she might crochet her own clothes right there. You see the little granny squares, but they're like flower granny squares. In all three scenes, she is the only one wearing crochet. Oh, I definitely think that's cute. All right, here's the last scene and my favorite one of all. Look at this poncho. If you know that pattern, link that down below. That is something I would make. And if you know if Shara Jackson crochets, I'm thinking she made some of her own wardrobe. Oh. That's cute. I can do this all day long. The next one. This is from the movie James Bond. The very last James Bond, I forget the name of the very last one. It's where, never mind, I'm not going to spoil it in if you've never seen the movie, but it's the last one with Daniel Craig. This was found by Kitty Craft Studio. She says in the most recent James Bond movie, a crochet Amagurumi rabbit known as Dodo or do Dodo, Dodo, I don't know, <laughs> features somewhat heavily. Many scenes after this kid comes into the movie. So I've seen this movie and there, this little crochet rabbits everywhere. 
There it is right there, little amigurumi rabbit. You can tell from the fuzz that this is like super loved. Either the prop the apartment was like on it for this movie and roughed up this rabbit, or is this is something they found at the Goodwill. This item was loved. It took me a while to find a scene where you actually see the face of the rabbit. I think the face of the rabbit is coming up. There it is. Is that two eyes or is that an eye, a nose, and the other eyes on the opposite side? I hope there's another eye on the opposite side because that would be an ugly doll. This is a good movie. The next video. This is in the TV show New Girl. This was found by Shannon Callister. Thank you for finding this episode. She gave me a lot more information, but just for this video to keep it short, we're just gonna hop into the episode of New Girl where they're having a crochet club. It's a small one. Okay, I left my towel in my room. Okay, look at the girls, they're all crocheting on the couch. We're gonna be looking at how their hands are moving because it doesn't look right. Like, which one of these girls actually know how to crochet? It, I, I don't know. No, that doesn't look right. She's not, I don't know. Maybe she can crochet. Okay, I think, does she do a real stitch? She's crocheting. That girl is not crocheting. So I think, okay, the new girl can crochet. Her name slips my mind. What is her name? Comment down below. But I think she actually crochets. Okay, look at her hands. She's not making a stitch. She's just holding yarn. Not a crocheter. Why don't we hang our towels on towel bars instead of hooks and that'll make them... Okay, here's the next scene from New Girl. At the very end, they're inviting somebody in to crochet with them into their club. Hey, hi. Because my hands are too stuck in the yard. Okay, there's the club in the background. Sorry. No, it's just crochet time. Crochet time. Yeah. Thanks. I'll just come back later. Hey, Julia, do you want to crochet with us? She said, do you want to crochet with us? Brutal. Going to an all-girls school. The worst girl's going to be so... Yeah. This is one of my favorite parts of this scene. This is, this is really nice, guys. Thank you for letting me join in. It's totally relaxing. Expect. I don't know why. If I put the box through the cave, it doesn't... The yarn is broken. I don't know why this is not turning into... What you making? A hat. If you're making a hat for a baby, it is tough. Yeah. The positives of crochet. She said if you're making a hat for a baby, don't get frustrated. It's done. Don't even worry about it. All right. The next episode is Midnight Mass. I looked through the comments and I can't find exactly who gave me this tip, but thank you for this one. Midnight Mass, I never watched this show. It's new, came out this year or last year. I think it has to do with vampires. Guys, let me know if it's any good. All right. There is a crochet blanket on the back of the couch. I have no clue what that stitch is. Let's see if we can get a closer look. There's, I hope I freeze frame this video. Well, I just freeze the video. I didn't get a closer look. I'm sorry. I do not know what that stitch was. Know what? Right now, even though I'm watching this currently with you, I'm going to freeze the frame right here so you can see an up close picture of this stitch. I'm not looking at it with you. What is this? All right, next one is from This Is Us. Once again, I couldn't find the comment that gave this, but this is a beautiful uh, granny square joined together duster coat. There it is. A lunchbox? No, not a lunchbox. It looks like a lunchbox. Well, I know that it looks like I a lunchbox. I love, I always, this is an easy pattern that is on my bucket list, but I just cannot stand joining squares together. Making a thousand granny squares is perfectly fine, but joining them all together to create something, it'll just be in a bag for months. Okay, we're gonna get it right there. 
look how gorgeous that is. I'm glad I was able to freeze frame this one. Uh, definitely on my bucket list. I need to do it. All right, cute one. Do we have any more left? Let's see. All right, the next one, uh, Monster in Law. I didn't save the comment, but I'm gonna talk about her later. But Robin Claiborne, she gave me a whole list of things to look at. And I'm gonna get all the time some for those and probably make a part three of this. But the next video is from the movie Monster in Law. I think this came out in the mid 2000s. It has Jennifer Lopez and uh, why can't Jane Fonda, who I'm sorry, I can't miss her name, Jane Fonda, as the monster in law. Here is the, it's hard to get a view of this. Like I said, my video is blurry. Those just look like simple double crochet stitches. Nothing complicated, made with some type of beautiful yarn. I wasn't able to get a perfect look at the uh, shawl completely, but I got some free, freeze frames in these shots. There it is. I like that. It looked like it was just made back and forth and just seamed in the back. Sure. I'm sorry. No, I was too pushy. Okay. I know there's a scene where I get the whole shawl or poncho because there's like tassels hanging off the bottom. There, there it is how the tassels are hanging off the bottom. Just let you know anything like this, please wash by hand and do not put in a dryer because it'll all become dreadlocks. But that's gorgeous. I love that yarn. All right, that pretty much wraps up every single video. I still have a part three coming out. And if you happen to know of any crochet that you've seen on TV or in movies, please comment down in the uh, comments below. If you can't give me a timestamp, can you give me kind of a where at in the movie it might be or where what season episode it might be in so I can find it and record it and show it to all of you because I would love to have more current uh crochet and tv in the movies but that's pretty much it and if you would like to check out part one i'll see you all on the very next video bye guys